Yes. And this is uh, the way to do this. I think we produce around $60,000 per round. Hello gamers, my name is KK and today we are trying to get the quickest Paragons ever and we will learn the best, the most optimized godlike way to farm bananas and a shit ton of money in BTD6. There are a lot of strategies on how to farm money. For example, the marketplaces, the banks, then the banks with the deposits, then the tier 1 farms, the banks monkeynomics and with this ton. There are a lot of stuff. And today I'm gonna show you the best strategy in terms of money making and the easiest one. Uh, usually the some of the strategies that you're playing cause your phone to lag here i thought of the strategy that is the easiest for your device and it will not cause <laughs> uh, your devices to feel pain and to overheat most likely because for example marketplaces strategy uh, it has a lot of animation and usually when you spam the marketplaces uh, your device overheats very rapidly however with, with this one this is not gonna be a problem and as a consequence of the godlike farming we will get the quickest dart Paragon ever. And we will also follow it up with the Boomerang Paragon. So, first step is to get the Benjamin. Benjamin is the money-making hero. Bef why do we need this hero? Because it allows us to greet as f be greedy as fuck. In the beginning, uh, the specifics is that before round 40, Benjamin gives you additional $10,000 during the span of between round 2 and round 40. So these $10,000 can be invested into the farms and the farms generate more money. And you have this cycle of having money and then immediately reinvesting it into the farms. You get money from the Ben and the farms and then you immediately reinvest it. This is the cycle is and the cycle is repeated until we get enough farms to feel like we can afford everything and trust me you will be able to afford everything by the end of this video also this is a very straightforward path of farming and you will not need uh, a lot of stuff you can add a few things like farmer and the robo monkey in order to optimize this farm build slightly but it is not a requirement you can easily collect all the bananas using your finger or the mouse so the first step is to place the two zero zero farms ideally you want to place them in the square and you want to have uh, the empty space in the center this space is going to be filled by the village uh, the optimal amount of farms is eight farms so you are looking to place eight farms uh, and the village in the middle of this farm plant and you will understand why I call this farm plant by the end because it is really it really reminds me of the factory uh, okay meanwhile we are upgrading a few dart monkeys to zero to three the uh, crossbow masters almost crossbow masters the crossbow guys but we will eventually upgrade them to the, to the crossbow masters later on for now we place the farm uh, and we also place the monkey village one zero two we get the discounts and after we get those discounts we upgrade all of the farms that we had to the upgrade path three zero zero uh, what 300 does, it basically triples the income from the farm. Uh, the difference between 200 and 300 is in, in trip. 300 has tripled the income. Uh, in order to counter the LEDs, we are using the Ultra Juggernaut. Alchemist is going to be much cheaper, but we also want to have a few pops on our Dark Monkeys in order to get the higher Paragon degree. Uh, so, all the damage that we are dealing in this game before round we get the paragon is gonna be you by, by using the dirt monkeys also look at this tip uh, i'm placing the second village and this village is goal is to 
buff the first village and increase the range. Uh, so you will upgrade the second village to same tiers as this one, one, zero, two, in order to get the first village in range and thus you are increasing the range of the main village. Why do we need this kind of village? It's pretty simple. We will use tier five uh, village in order to consume all the farms in range and we will make one super farm from these uh, and this super farm is the tier 5 village yes uh, for those who don't know how farm mechanics works I think it's like the big revelation <laughs> but in reality this is the best way to farm and the best way to generate a lot of cash because this is gonna be the most profitable um, village farm in the game. No other tier 5 farm can contest with this one. And as you can see, I'm adding a few more farms. As I already mentioned, the ideal number is 8 farms. However, uh, you can, uh, if you can, you should add more. So, 9 farms is good, 10 farms is awesome, 11 is very difficult but amazing and 12 is the maximum amount of farms that you can place to get the farm plant with the village it's called monkeyopolis but i like plants uh, naming much more okay before round 40 we have eight three two zero farms after you upgrade each farm to three zero zero you also upgrade it to the valuable bananas so the upgrade path is three two zero <clears throat> and you also benefit from the discount because discount is active until tier 3. Then the next step after this is to uh, upgrade the BRFs, Banana Research Facility, 4 to 0. BRFs generate a lot of cash and once you get one you will very quickly uh, scale to 2, 3 and much more. So you need to um, account for this. Try to greet. Don't invest as much cash at, at this stage into the defense and greed. Invest more and more and more money to into the BRFs, into the farming facility that we have. And later, I think at around round 50, we will afford the stronger defense. But look, if we were to afford the crossbow master right now, for example, we would waste the money that we could upgrade one BRF with. And it is a pretty significant investment. So the more we delay the expensive upgrades, the better. So try to get over with the tier 4 towers, maybe tier 3 towers. It depends on what is your goal. In our case, we are and trying to get by with the one juggernaut on last in order to pop the leads and the dark monkeys the crossbow not the i confuse everything with crossbow masters because usually this is what you get with the crossbow cross path but you get the fourth tier crossbows look we have the the earlier we place and upgrade our brfs the more money we have just think about it each Round BRF produces $1,800. It has five crates, uh, and each crate usually costs 300 bucks, but with the upgrades, it costs 390 and it will be buffed by two upgrades further on. Uh, so it produces a lot of money, and the more of them you have, the more each round you have. So, for example, during the span of five rounds, one BRF produces more than ten thousand dollars like oh not more but at this upgrade path almost ten thousand dollars but it is it soon will produce more than ten thousand dollars so we have the village two zero four at this stage and as you can see i was able to fit another farm in range of this village and now we have nine farms in range of the tier four village all of these farms will be consumed by this village and it will generate a lot a lot of cash look we need to save up forty five thousand dollars first but then as soon as you get the cash you immediately upgrade the monkey yopolis boom now each crate is almost three thousand dollars and on top of that the um, monkey yopolis has eight crates per round 
So we produce almost $24,000 with just one structure per round. <laughs> Try to think about this. How much money is it? It's one, more than one Sun Avatar per round. <laughs> so now we replace the BRFs that we just consumed uh, in the same spots as we had initially. Um, and we will buff their income once more. So tier 4 farm um, with that is that was upgraded to tier 5 right now uh, it buffs the income of all the farms in range by 15 percent so this is the second buff first buff is the available bananas then we further buff it with the uh, tier 4 farm and then when we upgrade tier 5 farm in the first cross pass it will buff the farms even freaking more Boom. And now each crate costs, I think, 550 or something like that. I can see really well here, but I'm pretty sure it's around that number. Then, in range of the farm village, farm village, we uh, place the 0 to 5 farm. Uh, why this cross pass? Uh, because this farm usually is really profitable when you have the it's in range of the village that buffs the income and it also produces a lot of money at the end of each round so this tier 5 farm is good uh, you don't need to place a lot of marketplaces place just one of them uh, and you will feel well because this guy pays itself off in like 15 rounds or so and the monkey nomics monkey nomics I use the tech bot, but you don't have to do this. Same goes for the monkey farmer. It is convenient because I have a lot of monkey money, but if you don't have a lot of monkey money, don't waste it. Just collect all the crates using your finger manually. And look, monkey nomics works in a very simple way. You collect the ability and the ability gives you $12,000 each minute. As simple as that and it is a, also a very very profitable farm and we almost have enough cash to afford the um, cr apex plasma master dart monkey paragon and we are affording it on the round 70 without selling anything keep this in mind we could sell a lot of stuff and i could afford it as around like round 55 or so but but we want to go into the late game right Yes, and this is uh, the way to do this. So, round 71, if I didn't uh, uh, think about the astral matters, I would, uh, would have upgraded it in time in the round 70, but I consider this as round 70 upgrade because um, I just m misclicked when I needed to press do it. So. We have the Dart Paragon and now we will have enough cash for the Boomerang Paragon, which by the way is more expensive by almost $100,000. Uh, we will have it very shortly. What you see right now on the map is the best, most optimized farming strategy that you can have in BTD6. Uh, you don't use much uh, micro for this, you don't need anything. The farm with the farmer and robo monkey uh, the small exception with the farmer and robo monkey the farmer collects all the income for you the marketplace generates extra income because marketplace is much better than the 4 to 0 farm brf this is why we don't have the 4 to zeros we also add the tier 5 farms and also because there is only 10 farms at the on the map and the village this doesn't uh, take a lot of uh, power from your device and your FPS stays in the good condition. Um, same goes for the uh, Monkeynomics. Monkeynomics almost has no animation and it gives you a lot of cash. And we upgraded the Glaive Dominus on round 78. Mwah! This is so simple and yet so effective. There are also different ways. You can micro your, micro your ass off with the bank investments and get... I, would, I think bank investments are not gonna have uh, not nearly as much cash by round 78. Uh, also, keep, this, keep in mind, this is the easy game mode because uh, we 
this was a challenge for me to get the Dirt Paragon as soon as possible with the impeccable economics uh, and ridiculous income. So now let me count how much money do we produce. Um, boom, boom. I'm gonna roughly estimate. I think we produce around $60,000 per round. Uh, this is not the maxed out farm because we could uh, have farms on all the map, but there is no need. This is more than enough to carry you in the late game and to afford all tier 5s in the game, including the Vengeful, Sun God, and all this juicy st uh, upgrades, tier 5s, etc. This is more than enough. Uh, the amount of cash it gives you is just astronomical. Uh, and you can sell these farms, this, this money generating plant later on. Um, and it, the selling value of this is also close to like. 500,000. So it's also a very expensive thing and it will give you a lot of cash at the end. And that's pretty much about it. Just analyze what I said to you and repeat it and you will never have any problems with your farming. Uh, you can also use this strategy to complete the uh, impoppable game modes. You can use it for any late game on any map and Consider one thing, the more farms you consume with the Monkey Yopolis, the better. If you consume like three farms, it's not worth it. Keep this in mind. If you can consume only three farms, don't consume them. Uh, Monkey Yopolis is not as good of an upgrade if you don't consume a lot of farms. By a lot, I mean at least six. Six is the bare minimum. Six to 12 farms, depending on your skill and how you can place. Also, don't forget to use the tip with the second village if you can. If, for example, you have in, in the blind spot where you cannot place the farms but you can fit the village, you should add the village in order to increase the mother village range and thus you will be able to fit one or two farms more. And the more you consume, the more money you have. As simple as that. And now, as you can see, the only structures, towers, however you want to call it, monkeys that deal damage are the two paragon towers, the dark paragon and the boomerang paragon called glaive dominus. Uh, I just realized that Dark Paragon is called Apex Plasma Master, <laughs> but for me personally, I prefer the naming of Dark Paragon. And these two guys can survive for a long time, uh, but I think we are gonna end this by round 95. So guys, press the like or the like button right now, depending on what you think. If you learned something new, tell me in the comments. And also, you don't need much monkey knowledge for this. All monkey knowledge that you you don't need but you want to have is the support monkey knowledge because there are, there is some monkey knowledge points for the tower for the farms and support towers so you're gonna have the, your first farm a bit cheaper and all this stuff but you don't need the deposits monkey knowledge and you can just chill with the first like two or three monkey knowledge points you don't need to invest much or at all. Ooh, okay, guys, smash the like button, god damn it, and subscribe. See ya in the next one. What monkey are we gonna get? What insta are we getting? And bet obliterated? Tag shooter.